back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonia, a self-taught designer, hand letterer, and illustrator. In today's video, I wanna show you how to create an animated GIF like this for your lettering just using Procreate. If this is something that interests you, keep on watching. So with the most updated Procreate, now you can create an animated GIF directly from Procreate, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I have a sketch here, um, it says welcome, I'm thinking maybe I'll use this GIF uh, for my newsletter, but anyways, so the idea is you're just, it's a frame by frame concept where you're putting these frames together and make it look like it's moving. So for lettering, for example, all we're really doing is we're gonna uh, write a letter um, or draw it. So in my case, I have drawn this. So I'm gonna get rid of my sketch and I'll call it layer one. So I have this uh, already drawn. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw this or write this multiple times in a different layer. So we're having that frame by frame idea where if we put them all together, it's gonna look like it's moving. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a separate layer and I'm gonna call this layer two. And all I'm gonna do is go to my layer one and I'm gonna lower the opacity. So you're gonna click on this end button here, which is normal. And here I'm gonna lower the opacity level here. And then you go to layer two and you're gonna draw the same thing again. Now, as I mentioned before, you're just gonna repeat the process, but every time you draw it, it's gonna look slightly different. So when you put them all together, it almost looks like it's moving. So that said, when you are drawing, you wanna make it a little bit different. So what I mean by that is, so I'm just basically tracing it on a separate layer, but you don't wanna trace it too accurately when you are tracing, oh, change my color really quick. When you are tracing, you wanna make it slightly different and not so accurate because the goal here is that each layer is gonna be drawn slightly different so that when we put them all together, it's gonna, it's gonna give you that variation so that the lettering looks like it's moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up and draw this once again. But again, uh, the point here is when you are drawing, don't make it too accurate and try to make that slight variation. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up and draw this again. So I'm done here. So that's my layer two. So two more tips. So tip number two is, so you might ask how many times you need to redraw it. Well, that really depends on how much variety you want. So typically more frames uh, means there's gonna be more variety. Uh, the less frames you have, you're not gonna have that much uh, variety. So when I'm doing like lettering piece like this, which is super simple, 
I think five frames is good enough. You don't need really more than that. Um, so that's another tip um, for lettering, especially if you're doing other animation, you have more frames, it's more smoother, etc. But for the purpose of this video, I think five, five frame is good. But if you do want to have a little bit more variety, you could go a little bit more than that. Another tip I wanna mention uh, before I move on is when you do create the new layers, so again, um, I'm going to have to create another layer because I only have two layers here, um, is to use the new one you draw as a guideline to draw the next one. So what I mean by that is, so you know how this is my first one and I use layer one as a guide to draw my layer two. Now if I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call it layer three, Instead of using layer one as your guideline for letter three, now you want to go ahead and use layer two as your guideline and then draw your letter layer three. And the reason for that is it gives you more variety because again, if you think about um, layer two, you drew it slightly, a little bit different than layer one. And then if I'm going to draw another layer based on that layer two, it's gonna be a little bit more different. So again, the goal here is so that every layer is slightly more different so that when we put it together, it's gonna have a little bit more movement. In other words, if I draw it very similar to layer one every single time, then maybe you're not gonna get that variety, that movement that you want. Less, it's gonna be more, what I'm trying to say is, it's the little bit more different every single time is the key to make your lettering move. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and create more layers. All right, so we're almost there. So now I created five layers. So you can see sketch one, two, three, four, five. You don't need the sketch layer anymore, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Uh, what you're gonna do now is you have to turn on every layer. You're gonna have to turn it on. And then if you go here, to this toolbar right here. There's gonna be an option under share where you could share the layers right here. So you have animated GIF. Um, if you click on it, it will give you a preview so you could see how it's moving and you could adjust how many frames per second. So I'm gonna say, so the, the higher the number, the faster it's gonna move. That's all you need to know. So I'm gonna say about six is a good amount of moving. And then when you click on full resolution, it's gonna export. And then you're just gonna save that uh, image and it'll be saved. Then the Instagram, you cannot upload a GIF. So what you need to do instead is you're gonna have to export into a animated MP4, which is a video format. So that's another thing you need to know. Um, so if you do that, it's going to show the same thing, and then you could um, go ahead and export it that way. So I'm going to save a video, and I'll show you really quick how it looks like. So you go to here, and if you go to the video, you could play. But you will know I only have five frames, so it's going to be like a one-second video, and that's not what you want. So you have to make it a longer video. I think now the requirement is maybe five or ten seconds, um, in order to upload it to um, Instagram. So the to solve that problem, you, all you need to do is just create this layer again and again and again um, so that it's long enough. It'll be more than five to 10 seconds. That's all you need to do. The quickest way to do that, I'll just show you this uh, for my last part is, so I have five layers here. I'm just gonna group it. So in order to group it, you could just slide it to the right like this and then group it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this group, which is more easier than duplicating every single layer. So let's say I'm gonna duplicate this, uh, for example, like eight times, I don't know. One, two, three, yeah, about seven times. And then you can just take them out of the group, like so. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of them. And, um, it's gonna be a longer, and then just go ahead and delete the group. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. Okay, so I've done that. So now we have same layers, just repeating over and over again, like seven times, and go back and do the same thing. I'm gonna export it to animated, 
video mp4 and then save the video and I'll show you now so before the video was only one second here now it's gonna be about six seconds play and then test it out you see how it's moving now all right, that's all I have for you. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Any feedback, comments are welcome. So please let me know in the comments box below. I also create other mini tutorials for Procreate. So if you're interested, uh, check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.